Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the legendary Call of Duty 4 M16 Assault Rifle. That's right, the most powerful assault rifle burst weapon in Call of Duty history, at least in my opinion. So the basis behind this video, it's actually a follow-up video to Chaos X Silencer's Top 10 series that he put up the other day, and he was showcasing the Top 10 Burst Weapons in Call of Duty history. And by the way, if you guys do not know who Chaos X Silencer is, you're either one, living under a rock, or two, you do not follow Call of Duty YouTubers. He is one of the best Call of Duty YouTubers. Actually, he is my favorite YouTuber for Call of Duty. Anyway, I will link his channel down in the description. But basically, the other day, he made a top 10 series on the best burst weapons in Call of Duty history. And it kind of came down to the Call of Duty 4 M16 and the Black Ops 2 M8A1. Coincidentally, he put up a poll on August 27th on his Twitter, and it said which one was the more dominant weapon. And it was between the COD 4 M16 and the Black Ops 2 M8A1. So, and surprisingly, at least for me, the Black Ops 2 M8A1 got 55% of the votes, and there was over 5,000 people that voted on this poll. And to me, don't get me wrong, the Black Ops 2 M8A1 is a great gun. It was probably one of my favorite guns to use in Black Ops 2. It was actually the first thing I took with me when I prestige, when you could permanently unlock something. So don't get me wrong, it's a great gun. But... The thing and kind of the problem that I had with this poll was is if you went down in the comments and you read a lot of the comments, people were saying, you know, you know, hey, I haven't played Call of Duty 4, so I got to vote for the M8A1. That is not how it works. If you did not get to experience the Call of Duty 4 M16 in its prime, do not vote in that poll. I understand you kind of want to contribute, but like, man, if you did not get to experience it, don't vote for the Black Ops 2 M8A1 just because that's the only one that you've played with. And you know, the Call of Duty community has grown a lot since Call of Duty 4. So there's probably a lot more people that play Call of Duty now that have not experienced the uh, Call of Duty 4 M16. The Call of Duty 4 M16 is by far the best burst weapon in Call of Duty history. And as you guys can see in this gameplay, it is a monster. It is an absolute monster. You can consider this gun a counter sniper. Like, if you got into a gunfight with a sniper, if he misses and you put your shots on target, you can one burst him from across the map. This gun was one of the first guns that you could really pre-fire with because, I mean, obviously this Call of Duty 4 was the first Call of Duty that had really multiplayer with the perk system and everything, and this game really put multiplayer on the map for Call of Duty. But you could basically pre-fire on a door or an opening in the map that you knew enemies would run through, and you would not even have to catch them with a full burst. It was a three-shot burst weapon. If you caught them with two bullets out of that three-shot burst, normally it would kill them. Like I said, this gun was the most powerful assault rifle in Call of Duty history, and I'm really curious to see with Call of Duty 4 Remastered, we get to see it this weekend. Um, it is gonna Multiplayer is going to be revealed for it, Call of Duty uh, XP out in LA. Um, I believe there's a lot of big YouTubers that are going. I wasn't able to go. Um, I got a lot of stuff going on in my life right now, personal life. I got a lot of stuff going on at work. So I wasn't able to go. I wish I could have went. I did go back in 2011, but that's a whole nother topic. But I'm just really curious to see that Raven Software did say that in the Call of Duty 4 Remastered, they were going to leave the core game alone. They were going to update the textures. They were going to update the graphics. They were going to fix some of the bugs and the glitches in the game. But for the core game, they were going to leave the same so that you could experience the core game fully remastered and they weren't going to tweak it a lot. So the one thing I'm really curious about is if this M16 is going to be as overpowered, I guess you could say, as it was, you know, nine years ago when Call of Duty 4 launched. So, you know, I'm really excited to be able to get my hands on this game in November because this gun was such a good gun, but the only problem with it being this powerful, everybody is going to be using it. So Call of Duty 4 Remastered is literally going to be multiplayer with everybody using the M16 if they don't weapon balance it. I hope they don't weapon balance it, but you know, because then it would be changing some of the core games. But uh, you know, only time will tell, and we'll have to see what uh, what Raven Software does with the multiplayer weapon balancing wise, if they do any weapon balancing, you know. But uh, hopefully, I don't get too much hate for this video because honestly, in my opinion, if you didn't get to play Call of Duty 4 in its prime and experience the M16A4 assault rifle. You can't say that the Black Ops 2 M8A1 is better. The Black Ops 2 M8A1, I got a lot more hit markers with that 
than I ever got with the Call of Duty 4 M16. You know, it's it's such a great gun, and you know, within Call of Duty 4, especially because there was a perk in this game called Deep Impact, where you could get deeper penetration through walls um, and kill people through walls, that your guns would deal more damage through objects. If you put stopping power deep impact on with the M16, there was nowhere for anyone to hide. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. That's pretty much all for it. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. It really helps me out. It really helps my videos kind of get out there, and it only takes a second. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome Call of Duty 4 remastered footage to come in the near future, and all sorts of other Call of Duty footage. Um, in, the, in the months to come after launch and uh, if there's going to be any betas for this stuff. But uh, like I said, that's pretty much all for this video, guys. I Hopefully you enjoyed it. But uh, until next time, I'm out of here. Peace out.